it's Mel and welcome back to 2022. I can't even tell you how ready I am for this brand new year. There's something about having a brand new year with a clean new slate where you feel like you can start over and do everything better than you did the year before and that's what I'm about to do. So guys, I've been challenged. <laughs> And you all know I like a good challenge. So a couple of weeks ago, Chris from Daily Refinement, he contacted me and asked if I'd like to work with him one-on-one -on -one doing a live stream every single week for this year over on his channel. Now, I'm not sure why Chris has chosen me to be his little project, <laughs> but he has, and I'm going to accept the challenge. Now, he wants to challenge me and he wants to set me big goals for 2022. And I'd actually be crazy if I didn't take Chris up on this offer because Chris is just one of those resellers that is very focused on building your business and increasing your growth. He doesn't stand for any excuses. <laughs> And um, I'm not sure how I'm going to go. <laughs> I get easily distracted. I get easily sidetracked. I go off on tangents. I start one thing and then the next minute I'm doing another. I honestly believe that if I can stay accountable to Chris every single week and use him as my accountability partner, I theoretically should not be able to fail. If I've got somebody pushing me every single week to get these listings done, if I do this, in 12 months time, I'm going to be totally in a different financial situation I am with my eBay business than I am today. So Chris has actually challenged me to list 200 items a week in my eBay store, meaning 10,000 listings in one year. <laughs> 10,000! <000. laughs> Shit! Now I am actually a pretty fast lister when I put my mind to it and I buckle down. But this year, I just wasn't really consistent. I had some weeks where I went really, really hard. I was doing like 50 listings a day. And then I had other times where I wasn't doing any listing. I went for three months this year, June, July, and August. I didn't list a thing. So when you average out my daily listing, I'm probably only looking at getting like eight to 10 things listed every single day, but eight to 10, it's really not enough for a full-time seller. And I've probably used the YouTube as a little bit of an excuse in the last year on why I haven't got as many listings up because I'm busy making videos. But realistically, eBay is where my income is and it's not really an excuse. Now, he also asked me, how many videos do you want to make a week meal? And I said, three a week. So boom, I'm locked into that now, guys. <laughs> He has challenged me to not only do my 10,000 brand new listings into my eBay store, but 150 videos this year. Can you feel the sweat? <laughs> Does he know my name is back from burnout? <laughs> now, when I talked to him the other day, he was peering through his computer screen, <laughs> looking at all my stations. And I must say, he couldn't really see my photography area or my shipping station. All he was looking at <laughs> was this. And he told me it was far too messy. And he's right. My shed is an absolute disaster zone at the moment. So if I'm going to be putting 200 new items into my store every single week, guys, I need room for growth. And there is a lot of mess here. There is a lot of shelves out the back that have been holding death pile. I need to separate it. I have got a storage unit with death pile in it. I think I need to move my death pile so it's all in one place. And in this unit here, perhaps this should just be full of all my listed items and my stations. So my shipping station and my photography station. And then every single day, perhaps after I've been to the post office in the morning, I should be going to my storage unit, getting a day or two's worth of stock for me to photograph, and then bringing it back here and working on it. What that will mean is I won't have all this stuff that's sitting down here on my floor, making it hard for me to work and slowing me down. This table slows me down while I'm trying to reach and get the books. Now, on top of all this, I've also got my own goals. I really want to get on top of my book work this year. It's something that I've always run behind on and it's probably the thing that I do worst in my business. I am not great at staying on top of my paperwork and my book work. I just aren't. 
It's just something I always put on there. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> and it never happens. So this year, I really want to focus on that. So I'm going to work on Thursdays this week is going to be where I get up to date with all my book work and my numbers. So I know exactly where I'm at every single week. And the other thing I'm focusing on is my own personal health. If I'm going to have the energy to be doing all this, I need to be fueling my body with the right energy. So I'm really conscious this year of putting good food into my body, eating well, drinking lots of water, taking my vitamin D tablets, and I really want to make a conscious effort of that. So as you can see, 2022 is going to be a big year for me, but I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for the challenge. I feel like I needed this. Last year, I was going up and down and up and down. This year, I want to be more focused. I want to be more consistent and I want to be more balanced. And what a bonus. I think I'll make some more money. So over the next few days, my shed here is getting a makeover because if you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. So if you want to follow along and watch all these weekly streams where Chris is holding me accountable, you'll be able to find me over on his channel, which is Daily Refinement. Fridays, Australian Eastern District Time at 9am. Thursdays, Pacific Time at 2pm. Thursdays, 10pm for UK. So stay tuned for my next video and I'll show you what's going to happen here in my shed. See you in a couple days. Bye.